FSD version 11, the infamous version 11 <laughs> that we've been talking about for ages infamous. is finally <laughs> about to come out. Maybe. maybe what, what's 11? So Elon says, looks like version 11.3 will be ready for wide release in about two weeks. Many major improvements. What's 11.3 as opposed to? So, yeah. So basically 11, 11 itself is the consolidated stack. Um, and the reason 11.3 will be the ver first version that goes wide because 11, 0, 1, and 2 were internal to Tesla employees only. So... So technically, like Elon's had version 11 for six months, at least from how he's talked about it. Um, there was actually a tweet. Uh, where was it? It was like January. It actually, no, it's it's been a, about a year. It was like January 7th, I think, <laughs> 2022. Right. Where Elon first said version 11 will be out next Coming month. Coming soon. Coming right? soon. Yeah. So, <laughs> So, so he was about a year off, which is fine. You know, it happens. What do you mean by next month though? Did he mean for everybody or just for employees or I guess you can. Well, so the funny thing is employees didn't get it until a few months ago. Mm -hmm. um, so either way, it was a bad prediction. Um, but he originally said it would be for, released for like everybody uh, next month. I'm pretty sure is what he, what he said at the time. I, you know, I never get those uh predictions I, I mean something mike said earlier that uh that makes sense right like if you're gonna say two weeks he says that often two weeks or a month right yep when when people say a month you're like oh yeah that's it's definitely about to come out and maybe at most one month becomes three months not one month becomes you a know year. years <laughs> um so i yeah i mean it was 2017 right uh where Elon said, oh, in about six months, there'll be a no intervention drive from New York to L.A. or something, sure. right? Uh, six months in 2017. So six months, I guess. I know you, you might think anything can happen in six months, uh, but uh, certainly within two weeks, a month, you would think you'd have a, a good grasp on what actually is going to be done. But I, but I mean, I feel like FSD is a much harder problem because it's an unsolved problem. So it's not like mm -hmm. adding a button to a website. It's not like doing something that is like quantifiably so, understood. And so let, let me ask you, Lewis, being a software geek that you are, mm -hmm. if, if you were on the Tesla team doing FSD and you've been working away for the last two years on it, and all of a sudden they rip away all your ultrasonic sensors, is that any kind of impact to what you do? Uh, I mean, it depends um, because what I would what I would say is I don't think that the ultrasonic sensors impacted the FSD stack At because all? on the whole, I would say I doubt the models do much with the ultrasonics. So you think um, they're primarily? I feel like camera. radar was maybe a big would have been a big impact for sure. I could but they see did radar. That. A yeah. year ago or whatever, right? Like they they started doing that much earlier. I guess um, it depends where you where you draw the lines between the different uh, software features. Certainly, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, but uh, summon certainly summon was. I, I was just well. See, that's where it. I was going. Was summon is part of FSD, and summon does rely on the ultrasonics, as far as I understand how things work. Sure. Not that I mean, yeah, so, not so that Summon well, currently but... does not use FSD beta, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So the question is, when were they working on improving Summon with the new tech stack? I don't, I don't know when they were working on it. You know, one of the engineers hinted at saying that the the models around parking lot navigation were going to be coming out soon. Uh, you know, soon. that was an AI. <laughs> he specifically said by the end of the year he was hoping. Uh, yeah, so they've definitely pulled some features back. So. I feel I, I feel like we should say, you know, Elon originally jokingly, he said, oh, V11, that'll be out next month back a year ago. So, you know, he was only off by about a year. Um, but that's not really a fair criticism in the sense that they did pull features forward and forward into the other branches. And there are reasons for why they probably didn't just blankly push the button and, you know, switch it to 11. Uh, you know, just it has it goes to 11, right? They just do it because you can. <laughs> it goes to 11. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think the important thing is, you know, V11, why is it a big deal? It is a big deal because it is finally going to use the new and improved architecture and modeling stack that they've been working on for over a year that we've seen showcased at multiple talks and conventions and, you know, all that stuff that they're finally going to be using it for highway driving. So up until this point, as soon as you're on the highway and you're using 
you know, if you have FSD beta, you were not using the new models. You were using the same old, the same old Ooh. code <laughs> that you've been using for uh, several years. And the funny thing is, it honestly works pretty well. Like, I mm -hmm. don't really have com many complaints on the highway I, I driving. I would agree with that. Um, when I so it actually it. works quite yeah. well, despite it being old. I think what's exciting is going to see how much better it can get with the new technology. I think it's finally going to be, they'll be able to make even more improvements to it um, with the new architecture. So, and that's a good point, Lewis. On the say. highway, FSD, when I subscribed to it, for example, worked fine. On the highway, it, it that was navigate on autopilot. That yeah, was the that old was code. navigate on autopilot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the old code. <laughs> Very yeah, rich, old old yes. code. But, I'm I'm uh, interested. Well, I mean, over a year old, right? Like they had yes, updated. It was over probably, a year old. Yeah, but it got the job so, done. I'm just wondering what uh, people that don't get or don't pay for FSD, what what will their experience be? Uh, like I'll the main out. difference I see <laughs> is um, like when I'm on uh, city streets or whatever, you know, I have that sort of visualization. It's mainly a white uh, background. And uh, but when I had FSD beta, you know, that it kind of had a different uh, visualization. You know, will everybody have that that? FSD beta visualization and and when you are on the highway like I think everyone still has like by default you get uh, unless they change the packaging again um, you get uh, lane keeping and and a adaptive cruise control um, you know if, if you what, have the what is that experience like autopilot so you know there's multiple tiers so they brought that tiers. back because that went they away did. for a while okay correct that went away and enhanced came back um, so, yeah, so I mean, so the other good news, the, the thing that you kind of brought up is now going forward, we are no longer on divergent branches of software. There's no longer mm -hmm. a split version. So whether you have FSD beta or you don't have FSD beta, we are all it's going to be on software. the same software stack, yeah. which mm -hmm. is probably better news to me, like bigger news to me, even than the V11 coming out um, soon, uh, TM, uh, because <laughs> the... You know, historically, those of us that have been on FSD beta, we've lagged behind weeks, sometimes even months in software yep. features. Yep. So we get those features way later than the general populace. The With the combined software stack now, what will likely happen is everybody will be using quote unquote FSD beta, whether they have the full beta version or not. So even if you just have like traffic aware cruise control or something, it's still going to be leveraging the new stack, most likely uh where it's you know varying amounts of configurability so all of those features are going to probably be a little bit different um but it should be uh yeah well i mean we'll have to see it'll be it'll be interesting i'm looking forward to it hopefully in a couple of weeks he said in about two weeks who knows uh but I, I generally speaking you know there's there's a running gag in software where some teams always say in two weeks and two weeks and two weeks and you'll go a year and a half just saying in two weeks um, I don't think that's the case here. I feel like they're close enough. They've had it a, a wide enough pool of users in their own internal testing. I think that we're likely to actually see it. Okay, if not in two weeks, maybe in a month. Uh, but it should be should be relatively soon.